Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I would like to welcome you to the Super Fritz deck building hour. Uh, this is a this is a deck that Super Fritz has supplied to us uh, to test out and and try. Apparently, Super Fritz didn't I just get Blood Chief's Thirst? Didn't I just get the alternate art of that? Am I going crazy? Blood beckoning. Ah, that's the wrong card. I should have went with this one. Did no one tell me? That makes me sad. I have watched Uncle uh, some of the Uncle Roger videos, and here's the thing. Oh my God, Jenny, thank you. Dan, thank you for the gifted sub to Jenny the Loser. So I have watched the Uncle Roger videos. And I've also watched the guy who does Uncle Roger. I watched his stand-up. And I didn't like it. It wasn't very good. So it's harder, it's harder for me, not only because I know who he is outside of Uncle Roger... But also I know his stand-up I didn't enjoy it, so I'm like, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. Like, I'm kind of like, well, I didn't like your stand-up, so why do I like this Uncle Roger stuff? I don't get it. But, I don't know, like, some of his stuff is fine. But I do feel like it's gonna, like, it, there's gotta be a point where, like, it gets old and you're like, okay, this is your shtick, I get it. Now it's gotta, it's gotta be done, right? You know, there's, it can't, it just can't go on forever. <sighs> okay. So, Super Fritz. Uh, did Super Fritz, did you make Mythic with this? Oh, a couple of quick changes. Okay, well, let's have them. We got one Blood Chief's Thirst, just in case. One Erebos' Intervention, in case Erebos needs to intervene. Two Essence Scatter. Two Drawery Disruption. This is a sensor that acts as a land instead of a sensor that can cycle. One Negate. Two Agonizing Remorse from the Italian. Three Heartless Acte. I love Epiphany, but we have literally one creature to copy. That is exactly how I felt about Epiphany. I don't think it's good if you don't have enough creatures to copy. Because I think that is one of the primary modes that makes it cost 6 mana. Otherwise, you're, you're paying 6 mana for a Cryptic Command. The, the clone effect, I think, is super relevant to get that kind of value out of, out of the card. Uh, 3 Heartless Act. 3 Maze Mind Tome, which I actually think is very, very good. Um, I replaced them with another Blood Chief's Thirst and Thassa's Intervention. Okay. So two of these, one more thirst, and there's no Thassa's, oh there is, okay cool. Okay, but where are the Thassa's interventions in the actual deck? Oh, they're underneath the Maze Mind Tome, I see, I see. There's two Thassa's interventions, otherwise known as Dig Through Time slash Counterspell. Two Mystical Dispute, which I think is fine for the main deck, because I assume there's two more on the sideboard, which there is, because Super Fritz is a smart individual. Three Brazen Bar, which is nice. Four Naturalize. Two Extinction Event. Uh, two Hagra Mauling, otherwise known as the Hero's Downfall. Uh, oh, it's actually destroys only a creature, otherwise known as Murder, I guess. Or, what's the four mana one? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Two Ashiok. Which should probably be three, just because it's a good card, and it's better than any other card in the deck. Four Shark Typhoons. And then our mana base is uh, one Castle of Antris, one Castle of Lockthwain. Six, six, four, two, three, two, two. Which is how many lands? Six, twelve, uh, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. It feels a little low, but we'll see. Sideboard, we got two more Blood Chief's Thirst. One Shadow Spear, one Essence Scatter, two more Negates, two Eliminates, two more Disputes, as we saw. One Necromentia, which I probably never want to cast, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Uh, you can cast this against, like, Croxa, I guess. Uh, one Extinction Event, two Shadows Verdicts, which is interesting, and uh, one more Erebos Intervention. So let's see. The key to this deck is the, is the Shark Typhoons. Casting them or, or just cycling them? Oh, she <laughs> Dan's, remember when I first met you and you actually didn't know how to play Magic? How far you've come is super impressive. Like, it's kind of cool. Now I'm like mediocre. No, I think you're just fine. You are just fine. Oh, I'll keep this. This sand seems great. Shadow Spear on the sideboard looks questionable. Ooh, Ruin Crab. 
Why is this a sorcery? I don't understand. We got Shadow Spear just for Dream Trawler. I still can't be Ectos in, in Sealed unless I specifically ask him to take things out of his deck. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Are they going to dispute Mac? This is going to be hilarious. No. Okay. I mean, I'm not too proud to Shark Typhoon for one here just to make sure we hit a land, so... And your heart still beat as one. No more love on the run. Ah, <sighs> Caribbean queen. Another one? I'm just negating these because they just mill us and they like our creatures and our opponent's not really doing anything. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I also don't know what other nonsense our opponent could possibly have that we're going to negate because I feel like most of it's going to be milling cards and I'm like, okay, well, if I... <laughs> Oh boy. I mean, that's a. Yeah, that's a contender. That's a chicken contender. Well. Hmm. Boy, our hand being all removal here is pretty awkward against the mill deck. Okay, well, you see now, these are good to know about. I, I wasn't anticipating the, uh, the mono blue mill deck. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. What are we at now? Already at 36. Seems good. Okay, that's not terrible. Oh, are we going to race the mill now? Okay. For a turn, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. That's 16 cards. <laughs> Succulent horrors, you say? Hmm. 
yeah, we're that's that'll do. That'll do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yikes for me, dog. Beautiful, 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 beautiful boy. What do we got here? Nine cards left, huh? I would love an Eldrazi in my deck right about now. That would be... Charming. Oh boy. Yep, that's gonna. Yep, that's gonna do it. All right. Okay. Okay, let's get Erebus's intervention out. Mm -hmm. Let's get this Eat to Extinction out. Essence Scatter can go. We can just kill the other guys. Um, dispute, negate, dispute, negate. This is Creatures and Planeswalkers. Um, might just be another one of these. I guess we can actually put another one in, but... Let's bring in the Necromentia for tutelage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And I actually don't mind playing 61 against the mill deck. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Beautiful boy. I mean, it is just bad surgical extraction, but surgical extraction is very good. Yeah, I'll keep this seven. If they want to crab me, I'm definitely disputing it. No, bro. Don't even try it. I'm definitely going to let the mill fours resolve now, because... They seem considerably less threatening than just getting tutelage on board. And we can't deal with tutelage. Sure. Oh, two swamps and a and our one uh Wow. Okay, so that's all lands. One, two, three, four, five. Six lands. And a Necromentia and a Maze Mind's Tome. But they are down two Secret Keepers. It's got to count for something, right? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. Well, I am going to play this, much as I don't want to. We still have Thassa's Intervention for two, and neutral er, and Thassa's Intervention and Neutralize. Um, I have to assume they have a land here. No land. Well, the last thing I want to do is bounce those. Oof. Actually, we can get away with one, but it doesn't matter because 
We're not going to do anything with the other one mana, so. Okay. Okay. Well, we can castle Vantress here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's both of these are great. I don't, I don't know if they have counter spells or not. I think we should have led with agonizing remorse. Uh, that was what I think I was probably planning to do, but. Brothes, congrats on your first snow, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not in October. I'm not sure. Okay, so... They didn't play this, which is interesting, but... Hmm. That's fine. I'm going to let that resolve because the only thing we care about them playing is probably a spell. And if they don't have tutelage in hand now, when they do have it, we can negate it. Sure. All right, both in top deck mode. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think so. No, please, unless you have your own negate here. Uh, resolve. I will definitely pay for that. <laughs> I have no cards in hand. All right, that seems pretty decent. That is a card I do not care about. Kept one on top. I assume it's a tutelage. Yep. Hagra's mauling, none neither of these do anything. Uh view battlefield. Stop on my upkeep. So actually one, two, three, four, activate will have two left over, but that's enough for both dispute. Uh both from the bottom, yeah. Resolve it. Oof. Both are good. Both are good. Um they have five they have six lands, don't they? So they can play this and dispute, and that's unfortunate. The problem is this is on top, so like we would have drawn that anyway. Um <laughs> eh. still gonna keep it this way. Yep. 
I mean, only one of them should be more manageable. We do just have to find a threat. I think this deck needs like one lock mirror serpent. Because <laughs> I'm a sucker for that card and I think it's pretty good right now and you can exile all your cards. I guess you exile their cards, but still. Wow, negate and a uh, neutralize. That seems very good. Now I wish I kept the neutralize. I didn't even think about the. Oh, that's annoying. These aren't legendary. I mean, like, can we just start attacking them for six? That seems pretty okay. So we get another shot. That's not gonna do it. Okay. Four activate. So so discouraging that like this is the card that's like gonna win them the game. It's so awkward. Two lands is okay. Wow. Yep. It's pretty insane. Must be nice. Have I thought of the Black Disenchant thing? I mean, this is literally my first game. With, you know, this is my first game with the deck, so probably not. I also don't think it's worth it just for this blue black, this mono blue mill matchup. Like, that seems pretty terrible. Plus they just sacrifice a... No, you guys you choose, right? It's modal. Like, we're just not going to win. Like, this is actually super frustrating. It also hits Elspeth's Conqueror's Death, sure, but, like, they've already gotten value off of that. It's like seven, it's maybe five, five. I have to survive four turns. Ugh. Which is almost impossible to do. They have to draw like four terrible cards in a row. No, we, we can't actually we can't actually survive that because we're drawing five cards a turn. We got seven cards left. This is not. Oh my god, we're not completely dead. Uh, negate is actually really strong here. It counters any kind of card drawing spell. And this is eight, eight damage now and eight damage next turn. Oh dear Jesus. All right, so we're gonna they're gonna mill us for four. We're gonna draw one. We're gonna go to one card in our library, and we have a negate. 
And they can't have land crab. So this is literally... Yep, that's not... Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god! Whew, not dead yet. Jesus, take the wheel. Mother of Smother. Yeah, I really wish I had more things for this matchup. Like, this is terrible because I'm drawing, like, Blood Chief's Thirst and Heartless Act, and I'm like, uh, these don't do anything here. Ugh, God. Creature Planeswalker, Creature Planeswalker. Each creature. Creatures and Planeswalkers. Creature, Creature. None of these cards do anything. This is just better than a Heartless Act at this point. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Are any of these cards lands? No. It's this is a, this is I think this might be too much creature and planeswalker removal. Kata and rewind? I don't know. What's Kata? I guess we're just oh god. I mean I really feel like it came down to that one turn where we didn't have the uh thing. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, 61 cards against... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're milling us, so I don't really care. Um, Negate Ashiok? Sure. You know what? I'll keep it. If we can draw that Necrologia or whatever it's called, the Robert Logia. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, let's play this guy. More like a raisin bar. Play tutelage, play tutelage, play tutelage. I want to negate it. Play it, 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 play it. Woo! There's no better feeling in standard. <laughs> uh, Ventress. I'm tempted to just brazen bar as three as a three one if they try to do some shit, and then I'm gonna bust them in the face. If they want to counter this, that's okay. Oh, they did want to counter it. That's exciting. Oh, a double Ashiok. Okay. Clearwater Pathway. I used to live in Clearwater. Clearwater, Florida. Fastest negate I've ever seen. They used to call me the fastest negate in the West. I have to assume their hand is just full of counter spells, just full of them, just just a million of them. So now, four cards. We know they have the. Uh, you didn't say please. We know they have mystical dispute. Sure. Show me that smile. Sure. Dang it. They get it every time. Pass. Uh, let's Shark Typhoon for make a 3 3. What is this, under the trees? Oh, interesting. 
intervention. Ooh, dispute. All right, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a next turn kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape this game. We've drawn a lot of relevant cards, plus lands, plus threats. So it's kind of like I'm just gonna leave them. I'm, I'm gonna leave it on top. If they mill it, it's fine. If they don't mill it, it's fine. Next turn we go Ashiok with Mystical Dispute up. Nope. Let's do that instead. Them drawing four cards is probably more than I'd like to see. They have six mana. Are they thinking of doing some shenanigans here? Shamanigans? <laughs> We're going to have 7 mana, which means we can't play Ashiok and keep up Counterspell. Could definitely be argued that we could have played Thassa's Intervention there. Pass. Mm, okay. So we need 1, 2... One, two, three, four, five, and then we need one. Essentially, we need one more to like protect. But I'm just gonna keep Thassa's intervention up. Like we have a three-three flyer. Like that's probably more than good enough. So they have, we need to do this for four. So three, right? One, two, one, two three, four, five. Sure, we'll pay three. Keep two up, just in case. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna have uh, a counter spell, but then we can actually play Ashiok, make them replay this stupid, yep, sure. You got it. One, two, three. Two counter spells is always rough to see. Because now we're going to draw, like, Blood Chief's Thirst number two. Actually, I think all of them are in the graveyard, right? No, none of them are. I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, seems fine. Six. I think we're just plussing here. Like, bouncing this only saves one, uh, one activation, and plus they're gonna get to replay it anyway. So we're we're basically just costing them three, which I think is. I mean, maybe we can do it next turn. I think it's fine. But I mean, they're at eleven, and we have five power on board, so. Jesus. Okay, that's good. Okay, that was actually a clutch draw right there. So I'm gonna make one more token because putting a token on the board actually one two three four five uh, puts lethal on board, and they only have two cards in hand. So, oh man, this is this has been an intense match. So you have no cards in hand, and you're casting this for two to mill us for eight. We have 13. Like, this doesn't do anything, right? Mills eight cards. And we have 13 cards. Sure. Just 
Just making sure I'm not going crazy here. Okay. Yeah, make sure to scry. I'm sure that's going to... No, like, why? Why did just concede? And then we can go to move on with our lives. It does nothing. We win next turn. God damn. <coughs> Claim them prizes. Okay. Let's oh well let's open our pack. I just like open packs, man. Packs, man. Alright, y'all. Let's see what we can I feel like this has too much removal and too few win cons. I would also add another land. What's the what's the blue ones? Uh, let's go to land. Blue black. Okay, let's see what we got here. Seagate restoration good enough to add one of? Draw cards, you have more cards in your hand. You have no maximum hand size for the, rest of the game. It might just be worth it as a one of, to be honest. I don't think we're ever casting that. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> Salon Division could be good. Maybe it's like a one of. Feed the Swarm? I don't know what that is. I, eh, I just don't think there's that many cards in standard that like what else are we gonna play this against oh it is destroy actually <sighs> never mind actually that's not bad actually that's pretty good well I don't know if you want to take six to kill a friggin <laughs> a friggin shark typhoon but it's not bad I mean do you want to take four to kill a doom foretold though when you've already sacrificed a permanent though like I mean like just putting you so far behind right like Okay, cool. I'll sack a permanent. I'll feed the swarm. So it's a two for one, and you take four damage. Like that's ter That that's that. In that situation, it's not good. I would rather just play more counter spells and be able to counter Doom Foretold before it comes down. Um. I just like Lock Mirror Serpent. I'm gonna put one in the deck because it's just a flash creature. Come on, it's just really good. I mean, unless you're specifically playing Feed the Swarm against the Tutelage deck, like, that's the only reason I could see bringing it in. Yeah, there is the modal one. I forgot what it was. Like, it's like the Freak is a Libation. Yeah, this one. Target, target player sacrifice. Target opponent's. Excuse me. <laughs> target opponent sacrifice an enchantment. Which is not terrible. I don't really care about Eliminate. I think Blood Chief's Thirst, Hagra's Mauling, and um, like Heartless Act are doing way more, way more than enough. Plus, like again, I, I can't trust it enough. Like, there's no three, there's no three mana Planeswalkers that you're killing with this thing. It's it's literally just Smother. Like, and I think when you're playing Smother, I don't know how many times I have to say. Like, am I? I, I don't know. Am I wrong? Like. What are good win cons for the blue black deck? I'm gonna look up I'm gonna look up threats here. I guess I can search here, right? Uh planeswalkers and creatures that cost five, six, seven in blue and black. Okay. Nothing can be found. Let's get rid of this text. Whenever drawn attacks, defending player chooses a non legendary creature card in your graveyard. Nope, not doing that. Like, one Shipwreck Dowser is, is not bad. 
Baron's cute, but like it's not just it's just not better than Brazen Borrower, I think. Especially if you're not like if there's no theme about like playing uh what do you call it? Uh bouncing your own things, and it's like eh. This is not a Zareth sand deck in any way, straight way, shape, or form, unfortunately. Um I do kinda like Voracious Great Shark, maybe it's like as a one of. Like we're we're already not tapping out in this deck anyway. Hmm. I do like having access to the one Airbus intervention. Borrowers are rogue, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to play Zareth Sand just in hopes that like I have one of my three borrowers on the board. You got to keep in mind this is also a, a creature light deck, so that if your opponent has any removal whatsoever, they're gonna kill your Brazen Borrowers. So it's not like Brazen Bar is like gonna survive very long when they're like, well, I didn't have any I didn't have any other use for this for this bone crusher giant stomp, so I'll just kill your brazen bar. Like it's just very ambitious to be like, well, since we have this card in the deck, it will work. Cause it often won't. Pursued whale. Let's do that. I mean, yeah, you can just cast him, but I think in that situation I'd rather have like Lockmere Serpent or Ashiok. Clackbid, Clackbridge Troll. That's a guy, right? <laughs> Underworld Sentinel. 4-5 for 5. X. Whenever it attacks, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Put all exiled cards on the battlefield. Okay, well, that's, that's sweet, but just not for us. Drana's Silencer. I just wanted to read that because the art's cool. But it's not great. <laughs> Demon of Loathing, seven seven flying trouble one. Demon when it enters when it deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices a creature. Okay, if you give that guy haste, then we might be talking. Space Godzilla guys. I don't have a third Ashiok. That's pretty wild. What am I doing with my life? Karuga the Macro Sage guys. We could take out all of these cards and just make it a Kruger deck. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19? I mean, it's basically the same deck, right? It doesn't change that much. Why don't we have one Ugin in here? I like that better than third Ashiok. Plus, it's a control deck where I'm like, hey... I'm controlling stuff, okay? Um, I kind of like... I kind of like one more negate in the sideboard, because you have to cut two things. I don't know. I mean, you might even want more Ugans. Like, this is a great... This is kind of an Ugan deck. I want to. I kind of want to cut Mystical Dispute, but I just don't think there's that many blue decks. I guess it's good against the Rogues deck, but... I don't know. It's probably good enough. Love and crafty. Have a good night. Um, I was so focused on stopping him from being cast against me, I never considered that maybe he could be a friend. <laughs> yeah, jokes on you. I think Airbus intervention can go to the sideboard. We have a, a lot of removal. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like this is a lot of removal plus the counter spells that are just generic counter spells. So if we need anything that deals with artifact stuff, that's fine. All right, let's try this. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. What am I missing here? Did I miscount? Six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, that seems fine. Oh, the old, the old Ashiok ultimate. That's a, yeah, that's a good card to have a combo of. Hew, 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 hew. <laughs> I spent so much time 
focusing on the, on countering Ashiok. But then I didn't even think that I could be the Ashiok. Be the or, uh, Ugin. Be the Ugin you want to see in the world. Twenty minutes till our stream raiders battle is ready, guys. What is this? one, two, two lands? We have essence scatter and shark typhoon to cycle, so I'll keep it. Guys, lock me your serpents first day out. It's hip to be Abzan, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm definitely sharkling, sh sharkling, <laughs> cycling shark typhoon here if I can. Back my bang. <laughs> nope. Don't do it, my dude. It's up to B square. God dang it. Well, they're going to get a turn here. Come on, one time, one time, one time. Okay, we did it. We're good at this game. Oh, boy. No food, huh? Okay. I'm definitely cracking this because I have two neutralizes in hand, so... It thins our chances of hitting on a land, sure, but that's fine. Do I have Heartless Act? We're getting pretty good. We just need uh, to not die. Pass. I'll take it. Hmm. Give me that land off that tippity top. They did it. They were like, here you go, sir. Here you go, Mr. President. Guys, I've been watching The West Wing. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, I've seen it, but it's so good. It just reminds you of, like, what could be. It's so good. And I'm so impressed with, like, the, the, the detail and, like, the specificity Aaron Sorkin puts in his writing. It's like, wow, this is amazing because, like, how do you, like, I'm so like, I'm like, how do you know all this? Like, how do you know? <laughs> like, the detail you have to have for all these, like, intricate government, like, policies and procedures and this and that. And you're like, uh, create three foods. No. They only have two cards in hand, so that's actually pretty good for us. We just gotta take a couple more hits from this, this jabroni. You can also just bounce the wolf with Brazen Boy. The best part of waking up is Brazen's in your cup. I mean, they just replay this guy, but that's fine. That means they can't lock Castle Lock the Wayne this turn. What are you doing? You're not bouncing this? Okay. Interesting. Instead of replaying it, they did that? Codus Lobra. Okay, so now we can kill that guy and still keep up uh, nothing else, I guess.
Aaron Sorkin should write a Dunkin' Donuts commercial featuring Al Pacino dubbed in Japanese. I feel like that that would probably be where Aaron Sorkin's talent is uh is is seen best. Okay. <clears throat> What do you got, Snake Man? It's okay. Land. You got it. So you have Wicked Wolf and one other card. Seems good. You got it. I don't control any creatures, so that's fine. And if we draw E2 Extinction, this is a three drop. These are both even drops. So I'm okay with that. gonna play this this saucy gentleman also if we could just hit a land and then snap block a, a guy with a lock mirror serpent like that seems pretty good plus they got exactly five extinction event i always call it e2 extinction shut up <laughs> won't you shut up god you don't know the card name you just made that up the best part of waking up is Aaron Sorkin in your cup? I was like, what's the hold up here? You got one card in hand. Okay. That seems fine, actually. Now you have no cards in hand. There it is! Wow, that's... Oh my god, can you imagine? Evensies. What celebrity do you look closest to? Buddy, I don't have any idea. Well, where's our sixth land again? Sixth land again. Just can't wait to find a sixth land again. I would like to put one of these cards down as a land. But I can't wait to find a six land again. Castle Garenbrig. Do -do 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 down the highway. You got it. I don't care about that goose. Don't turn around, uh-oh. The shark typhoon's in town, uh-oh. We're gonna kill that goose. So they can't make a million food to get back their feasting troll king with vigilance and trample. Good grief. What's going on here? It can't counter, I don't know. What's pro what, just let it resolve. Oh, problem is here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we drew another one. I'll block. They're at twelve, so we're just like winning the the damage race too. Oh, that's good. Good for us. Codus Lobra, number dose. If you got it. Sharkham. Is that a free sample purple sent you to sleep on as a demo to see if you like the material? Yeah, they're like, here, try this out. You like it. And I was like, oh, sweet. No, it's funny because purple, when you buy purple products, they give you this tiny little sample bed. Uh, we bought a purple mattress and this is what they gave us. And then we bought a purple pillow and this is what they gave us. So uh, it was kind of funny. But it's kind of like, it's really fun and addictive to like squeeze and play with. It's probably really good for ASMR too. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh dear.
I'm gonna kill your goose. I'm gonna end the turn here. Wicked wolf. I'm just gonna... Well, so it can, they're gonna fight. And they're gonna crack clue. And then we're gonna heartless act in response. How's that sound? Little Red Riding Hood. Oh yeah, draw that card. You got it. He dead. He dead. See you later, little Billy. Oh my god, Kerwin. Kerwin's like insistent that I play this fucking stupid Al Pacino video. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's like, buy it! Pass two attackers. Mm, I'm gonna take two here. Are they dead? Why, where's my lands, bro? So we can make another 3-3 and almost kill them. Almost kill them? Sure. You got it. No, don't like that. They're going to draw a card in response? They're going to go to five? Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> That's... Got him. <laughs> You're everything that big. You're everything that that big wicked wolf could want. Oh, I think we're taking out the two disputes. Bring in essence scatter. Um. So what do we see? We saw questing beast, wicked wolf, lotus cobra, and the fat. The fat. What's his name? Troll king. All of those are even. The only thing it wouldn't hit would gilded goose. I think troll king is six, right? Oh yeah, so we're definitely bringing another extinction event. None of their graveyards seemed relevant. I mean, don't forget, Agonizing Remorse hitting it exiles it. We can also, like... I don't, I, I don't think we need... I don't think we really need Erebos Intervention just to exile it. That seems pretty narrow. We also only saw one, and they never at any point had enough. Um, what are they called? Enough food to ever bring it back. Um, take out. I want to take out something. I don't want to take out our win cons. I do kind of want to add another Blood Chief's Thirst. Maybe I'll add one Blood Chief's Thirst. Take out the one Negate. Because you still have four Neutralize and two Draris. I, I don't think... It kills the... It kills the indestructible wolf. I don't care. I don't care about your stupid wolves. None of those creatures really bothered me. Villa, Villa TX, have a good night, buddy. I don't care about your wolves. Stop trying to sell me. On, on Erebos' intervention. I don't think he needs to intervene right now, okay? What I would like is a beautiful land. I found one. I found one beautiful land. I was going to hit F6, but then I was like, wait, that doesn't work on here. Sure. 
Show me a land. Oof, that's interesting. I kind of like it. I kind of just want a maze mine tome here, but I don't know, man. I think we can pass. We have another land in hand. Like this, the the deck we're playing benefits the the patient man. No, don't do that. They have two cards in hand. We have like five. Did they mulligan this game? We could have played this, but now I'm playing it at the land, so. Plus we drew another neutralize, so it's like, come on, dude. If we hit one more land, we get to go Maze Mind Tome into neutralize, which is pretty bananas. I'm so sorry. I hate this. I don't want to be this guy, but it's just where we are right now in the Magic the Gathering. In our Magic the Gathering. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I understand. You don't have to explain it to me, buddy. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You can blame me. I do. We all do, Super Fritzy Boy. I'm the scumbag guy. Me. It's me. Let's go back to the... I feel like we want one more land in here, I'm going to be honest with you. Dunkachino. What's our breakdown of blue to black cards? I feel like we have way more blue cards. 23 to 14. Yeah, we can just add one more island and feel okay with our life choices, I think. Yes, that was really Al Pacino, and I assume that was a while back. I, I'm actually... I, you know, I don't think I am going to run out... For a Dunkachino, to be honest with you. Dunkachino. I could see taking the negate out and just putting it full on in the sideboard. Or just, I don't know, main deck negate? I mean, we have so many counter spells. Two Essence, two Draw or Disruption, four Neutralize, that's eight. Two Mystical, that's ten. I'm going to take it out. I think it's I think it's the correct choice. Because the problem is this has 27 lands. Which is normal for a control deck. But also, it has four of them are lands that are definitely going to always come into play tapped. Well, six... Mm, no. Yeah, six of them because of Temple. Um, and additionally, like, you don't always want to play the the two that uh, are... are uh, double face cards. So... Yeah, this hand's not good. This hand's nice, though. Okay, I'm going to put Fable Passage back. Three lands, we can already neutralize and Blood Chief's Thirst. So I'm okay with that. Extinction Event could just win us games. Yorion is their companion. Twelve allies on the board, guys. Put more. Put more allies on the board. Put the allies on the board. Oh, I like this. I like this Mirage Swamp a lot. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is obviously the Doom Foretold deck, I would imagine. Having crazy about a lot of the empty giant treasures lately, but these double face land spells are. I I agree with you completely. They just make it so, like, your hands are just so much better. Like, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about your stupid egg. This is rough because we have a, so much main deck creature removal and they don't have many creatures. Can someone tell me if this deck runs counter spells? Do I have anything to worry about? Yeah, let's see. That's not what we want to hit. Play it as a land. 
Does it have blue? Yes, it does. But that doesn't mean it has counter spells necessarily. Um, yeah, it's just my turn, sure. Did they miss a land drop? Did we play first? I don't know what's going on. Oh, I like, oh, I like Maze Mind Tome. I don't think we want to Ugin right now. Because we're not even, we're not really close to even having that much mana, but that was a very good draw. Now I get to keep up neutralize. They have eight cards in hand. We have five. Castle of Antris is good. A little mana intensive, but still good. Don't like that. So I have three mana up after this. I don't think I want to neutralize it though. What song played when people clicked on your MySpace? That's a hilarious question. I'm pretty sure it was some kind of Jawbreaker song or some Get Up Kids song. Um, I actually think the card drawing on this is very, very relevant. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a risk. Okay. I'm gonna actually draw first because if we get a counter spell, I'll keep that up. If we don't, I'll keep the remorse up. Ashiok seems very good. I don't actually care about anything else in their hand. That's hilarious. Two Elspeth Conquers Death and a Glass Cage that don't hit anything. They do get to Omen of the Sea, but that's fine. What's the most depressing song you could have your mind please play? <laughs> Buddy, I don't even know. Okay, so they're just blinking a draw too. Sure. Wake me up when September is. Okay, I like that. I kind of want to try to hit a land, though. We didn't, but we hit a counter spell, which is pretty good. We can definitely take a hit from Yori on here. There's nothing wrong with Green Day. Green Day's been around for ages, and they've definitely earned their credibility. Uh, I'm just gonna not care about this guy. Sure. Oh, still have seven cards in their hand. I think land drops is pretty sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus our five. That guy being able to blink Yorion, being able to blink these. Like, this deck is really obnoxious and it has so many components that are all very, very relevant. <laughs> I mean, now now's a chance where if they hit another Charming Prince, it's really bad. 
What do I show you? Like one card? Cards to reveal. They will choose one card for us to discard. Okay. You can like you can see an extinction event. Oh my God! Where are the cards in this deck? Where are the lands here, my dude? Jesus, this is ridiculous. I mean, we're going to gain four off this, so I'm not too concerned with our life total. Treacherous Blessing. No, that's three That's three cards. It always feels like somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. Whoa. Like, theoretically, the top card has to be a land, right? Like, it's just, statistically, it's just... Impossible for it not to be. <laughs> you know what? I accept. We have more cards. So these cost zero. Sure, I think that's fine. Their Elspeth Conqueror's death do nothing. Their Glass Cage does nothing. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. They can't. Huh. Just gonna pass here. End step, I'm gonna kill this and then probably play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably play Extinction Event. Naming odd, even rather. <laughs> Some knuckleheads watching me. Oh, see, beautiful, beautiful. So, what do we got? I think we're okay. I think we're okay on blue, right? Mm, not really, actually. I think we just want more blue. So zero zero two, say even. You know what he feels like. Somebody's watching me. I mean, this lets them make two twos, two one ones, and draw three cards. So nah. This deck's really hard to deal with, though. Like, I don't actually have to, have to beat this deck, I'll be honest with you. They just have such an inevitability. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. They do have Glass Cage for our, our Shark, but it does let us draw a card. See, now I'll play a Swampy Womp. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually... Uh, scry to and still do the thing yep sure this gives us an extra turn Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's rough. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Both of these have to go, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that's a thing, but it's not a great thing.
The problem is we know they have two Elspeth's Conqueror's Death, so it's like it's really hard for us to get any of our threats to resolve here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One, two. Can't do anything about that. Pretty ridiculous. Draw four, make two one ones. Yep. Twenty four to twenty two. I'm actually winning on time, but I'm not sure it matters. Like this guy is great, but there's no way we can actually win because this exiles. So Shark Typhoon. Um, uh, maybe that's not the worst. Well, they're timeouting here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight cards in hand, so they gotta play something. Okay, land. Seven cards. Pass to attackers. Pass. I'll take two. Elspeth conquers death with no target. Fascinating. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a seven, seven. Somebody's watching me. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. <clears throat> so I think we're just going to lock Mere Serpent and try to kill them in two. Yes, the thing they can recoup is uh, Yorion. Doom foretold. It's <sighs> fucking annoying. Mm 
Well, now we're not playing Lockmere Serpent, only to sacrifice. I'll just go to one, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. It's really obnoxious. I'm just going to concede here. I think. Okay, let's take out the essence scatters. This is definitely a negate matchup. Blood Chief's Thirst is terrible. Uh, Heartless Act also not. I mean, I guess they kill they kill Yorion, but definitely bringing in Necromancia. The two of those can go. I mean, I'd rather just counter Yorion. So maybe it's just these two. One, two, three. One, two. That seems fine. Good, 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 good. Yeah, this is just mono counter spells here. I know it's me. Welp, that's a problem. I feel like their whole deck is problems. You got a problem? Yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ revolves it. Bing, ding, ding, da, ba, ding, 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 da, ba, ding. Guys, what you know about Vanilla Ice? Nothing. Bing, ding, ding. I don't care about that. That don't impress me much. Can have all your stupid eggs. I'm tempted to cycle this. I think I have to. Maybe not. No, we can we have mystical dispute as oh that's such a good god, we're so good at this game. That's the guy Queen sampled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Queen and David Bowie. I'm tempted to just Shark Typhoon for Dose here. Oh, we need a land. Daddy didn't get one. Daddy's got quite a few counter spells in hand. So that's kind of good.
Pass. Resolve. I accept. Didn't like that. They were like, put it on the bottom. Put it on the B. Autumn. Put it on the B. Autumn. This just draws us two here. But I think having the counter spell is more relevant. I'm just throwing this dude out there. Boy, lands are cool, but I don't know how to get those. So sometimes I just kind of sit around and hope that my life will change. We have 27 land cards in this deck, and I don't know where they are. I don't care about that. Davidson. <laughs> Davidson Bowerstein. Oh, boy. You know what? If this is who you're going to be, I don't think you can take anything that I care about, really. Sure. Knock yourself out. You're doing me a favor, because next turn when I don't draw land, I don't have to discard. You're helping me out. Although six turns ago, I could have played like an Ashiok, but... I mean, we can we have like four counter spells in hand, so... Whatever you take, I'll still kill you. I mean, come on, we all know I'm countering this, right? You got it. Sometimes there's no words for your lack of lands. I don't even know what turn this is. It's got to be seven, so... We've missed three land drops in our 27 land deck, just to be clear. We haven't played anything as uh, as a spell if it could have been played as a land, so. Oh, they just put Yorion in their hand? Fascinating. Sure. Battles ready. Battles ready. So I can either bounce this and make a 3-3, three, three, so get in there for 3. Yeah, let's do that. Thank Jesus. So they got a 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They have 7 mana. So we can negate... And then Thassa's for two. Uh, sure. So they got one, two, three mana up, huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So what do they blank? Make two one ones. Oh, they're just going to scoop here. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I don't have to deal with it. Seems good. 
not going to submit anything else. I think our deck is where we need it to be. Unfortunately, we could not draw lands for five turns, and I feel like if we could have, we might have been in good shape. We have 73 allies on this boss battle, so hopefully that's enough. It looks good. Uh, four lands? Yeah, keep that. Snap keep. Two counter spells, four lands? Sure. This is the most lands I've had all, all night. <clears throat> so I think it's passage into a black and then we don't have to worry about... Actually, we're going to leave with island here. Because both of these are black or blue, so we can... Okay. That's, that's nice of you. I'm going to let the greed flow through me, and I'm going to cut Fabled Passage here. We have two turns to draw more lands, and I feel like it could have been a fluke. So, we'll see. We had 27 lands. 27 lands. 24 lands left in our 51 card deck. That's 50% almost. Mark, use that link if it shows up. Um, so you're going to blink that guy? And I can do nothing about it? Hmm. I mean, if we do this, like, this just seems better, right? Because they, they still have to replay this next turn. Still did not hit another land, though, <laughs> so... Um... We're gonna pass. We have two counter spells here. Affinity, you're the hero we need. Alright, let's see if we just kill ourselves by not hitting... by, by discarding that land. And we did. Fantastic. Wow, that's really... Jesus, these draws have been absolutely incredible. Are you just going to put your hand into the hand? Fascinating. Okay. Jesus, this is unreal, dude. I mean, I feel like we're holding our own, all things considered, but... A land would have been great there, because we can go agonizing into Essence Scatter, but then we wouldn't have the Essence Scatter, so... You know, half of... Six of one, half dozen of another, I guess. Duress. Sure. Take Essence Scatter, I'll neutralize. Take Neutralize, I'll Essence Scatter. I don't think we cycle Neutralize because we can still cast it and it still stops any one of their threats. And that's why they got rid of it. Three cards and a Yorion. I don't know. Magic's hard, man. What other fish could it have been? <laughs> huh. Um, sure. You got it. A land here would be nice, because then we can Agonizing Remorse and Essence Scatter. Look at the top one card, put up to two of them. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Thank boy, that's nice. They're also not super high on cards here, so. Ashiok? <laughs> we take Ashiok and we counter Yorion. That seems good. They do get to Omen here, but.
Both on the bottom, so didn't love what they saw. Good to know. I mean, again, if we had any sort of lands like over these Ashoks, we would have Thassa. We'd have another. Uh, we'd have mana to prevent them from playing Yorion here with Thassa's intervention. Yep, cool. Must be nice. The lands. I assume they have a land they're just going to pitch. <clears throat> yep, Golden Age, sure. There's nothing we can really do here, unfortunately. Like, we can't counter the Yorion coming back into play. And they would have both uh, Charming Prince and Yorion in play if we didn't play Ashiok, so... Congrats on drawing duress at the exact moment you needed it. Yep, that's... So we bounce this, and then, then nothing, right? Like, there's no... I I don't feel like there's an, 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 an efficient way to stop this that doesn't just waste uh, a thousand years of our life, unfortunately. So we're like 2-1? Okay, so... <laughs> oh, okay. So, I honestly think we might want... want how, many, how many... Do we have two or three Maze Mind Tomes? Three? And we have, we have what, 23 lands along with two Hagra Maulings and two Jewelry Disruptions. 27 lands like we just shouldn't be hitting this this much of a wall and it's kind of really weird we only have two ashioks like we drew two ashioks last game and freaking five lands in total and it's like that's weird 27 lands drew, drew five of them two ashioks drew both of them that statistically seems very very strange I just don't, I don't see any other changes I'd want to make. I, like, I think Essence Scatter is good. I don't think we need a 28th land. It's not a thing I've had problems with. I think this is just some classic Frank Cantrell land situation. That's funny to say, though, because it's like, we know that's not real. We know that's just, like, superstition, right? Like, that's not a real thing. That can't be. I mean, we like to meme about it, but in our heads, we're like, there's, we have to know that that's just like a thing, right?
I'm not so sure. It seems too consistent. I mean, I would agree if I hadn't watched it in real life for years. And the funniest thing is, I'm still, I still play Magic, you know what I mean? Like, God, can you imagine? Can you imagine how good things would be if I just played, uh... If I, if I drew lands like normal folk? Some moist octopus. Yikes. Okay. Essence scatter and disruption seem good. Six drop and eight drop do not, but that's okay. <laughs> Yep. Mill me, daddy. Is that what the kids say? I'm very tempted at Shark Typhoon block here. I have no idea what kids say. Maybe like, let's yeet these Tide Pods into our Facebook holes. That sounds correct. Yeah, I think I've heard them say that before. I think a heartless act my one one in order to keep their one one. That seems bad. Okay. That still doesn't seem great, so. Okay, now we are not drawing blue mana. Father likes that. It happens so often with you that we were surprised in the shuffle axe works properly. I I understand. I get it, man. One, two, three, and this is like four blues, four, four, four black sources, one blue source that is also a black source. I don't actually want to. God, sure, I'll just take one. Oh, there was a blue source. Did we hit other blue sources? No. This guy doesn't have flash, right? No, he don't. <laughs> sure, you got it. Oh, okay. Brazen Ghostly Pilfer. You can't cast Rankle next turn. You can cast this guy, but I don't, who cares about that? I think we're just taking Brazen B. Uh, remember when you played that five color deck with no fixing and draw your colors multiple times? Must have been opposite day. Now, magic rewards me when I take risks. What do we got in here? Oh, we're at eight now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna cycle this. We got two essence scatters and they have a handful of creatures, so. No, don't do that. Can we draw a blue source? That'd be fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. It's unbelievable. And by that I mean I'm physically in disbelief. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't understand. I'll take land land. Like Lockmere Serpent into Ugin would be pretty bananas. Well, there goes the land. Okay. They look with they've hit three blue sources. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. 
So it's four, five, six, seven. We're we're so close to Eugene. Um, I'm just gonna try to block this guy, and if they want to discard, that's cool. Did you mean Schwamp? I didn't. They didn't want to discard a card there? If this is a land and we just get to win most land with Ugin and they don't have any consequences for that, that's pretty good. Well, that's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. <coughs> One, two, three, four. So this is seven mana, so we can neutralize or scatter whatever they play next. We take four, but then we have Lockmere Serpy. Okay. Story creature confirming has less than or equal to the number of cards. Um, we know the two cards in your hand. And what are your abilities? Sacrifice of Swamp to gain life. It can't be blocked. Um, yeah, we're just going to counter that. God, can you see the difference one blue mana would make here? So then we can actually cast Essence Scatter on this Murful Gwind Robber. I mean, we take four, which is fine. But being able to keep Essence Scatter in hand for stupid-ass Rankle <laughs> seems ju juicy. Oh, look, another blue. <laughs> God. Are you second island? Can't be blocked. Mm, yeah, Maybe. I feel like it's right. I don't think we're going to Ugin here. If we Ugin, they get to just go Rankle, Crack Rankle, and then we get to have to sacrifice this. Like, this is our still win condition. We only have one island, unfortunately, so. But the problem is next turn we can kill everything on the board and then we have lethal, so. Like, we can easily take five here. They're gonna tap out to play Rankle because it's the last card in their hand. And then we get to Ugin, make sure nothing can block. Yep, you got it. Why not attack first? Oh boy. Like it. Man, Mystical Dispute seems just OP. Just OP. I want to take Intervention out? Uh, maybe I like Intervention. God, the problem is you like... I, so I like all of the removal spells. I think they're all good. The problem is picking the right ones. I think Intervention's good. I think Brazen Borrower's not great. Uh, so they have Drown in the Locks. We have four Disputes. Essence Scatter I like because of Rankle. Huh. I 
think this is fine. Blood Chief's Thirst also seems good, but like we also have Heartless Hack. We also have Hagra Mauling. We also have Extinction Event. I'm going to take out one Heartless Act for more Blood Chief's Thirst. The problem is, like, I don't want to cut these win conditions. You like all of them for Heartless? Interesting. Heartless hits uh, Rankle on, and, like, if they go end of turn Brazen Bar, it also hits those, too. So I do kind of like having the flexibility of the instant speed. One, two, I'm going to keep it because of Temple of Deceit and because we have Mystical and Essence Scatter. And I swear to Jesus, if I can't find a third land here, I'm going to rage. I'm going to go on a bender. Land? I'm oh, fucking oh, I'm so mad I'm so furious right now. It's still a land. Like how greedy do I have to be? We have three, four cards we can play. I'm gonna keep it. I just can't not keep it, especially when we have things to play. Look at this dummy. Oh, we're so lucky! I'm gonna Maze Mind Tome here because I think every card they have is blue and I don't care. You missed a land drop. What did you keep if you missed a land drop? Why would you do this to yourself? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! They can't come back from this. This is just painful. They did hit a land. Okay, maybe they're not dead yet. I mean, our hand is literal five counter spells. Oh boy. Don't like that. We literally have their whole hand covered. So you had a bad day. So you don't lie. Turn yourself around and you hit in the eye. Had a bad day. Oh boy. Maze Mind Tome keeping us in business, boys. Show me what you've got. You got it. So basically what you're saying is you're discarding and negate. Sounds good. Uh, okay. You got it. Two lands. Sounds good. I'll never see another one this game, but that's okay. Peace out, bro. Oh, we hit a land. God, we're very good at this game. <clears throat> okay, so... Doing good. I'm just gonna slam this. This is... The shadows awaken. They sure do, Ashiok. They sure do. Why would they play that main? Well, because we tapped it. Because we, we only had one mana up, so we couldn't counter it. Presumably.
you got it. Boy, heartless acting an Ashiok token is a that's a desperation move right there. Pass. This is a bloodbath. Okay. <laughs> I wish I clicked my turn faster so I could have seen what they would draw. I think the deck is sweet. At the two hour mark, I think we're going to call it here. We went 3 1, and the only deck we lost to was the stupid Doom Foretold deck, which I really don't know how to beat effectively. You might just need to put more of the Necromolosia cards in there. I think Necromentia is actually probably what you want for Yorion. But it's really hard to justify because I don't think it's very good. I think you can probably cut a Shadow's Verdict for Necromentia because Shadow's Verdict is actually doing this, pretty much the same thing as Extinction Event, which you have three of. And you really don't need it for anything. But it's a very obnoxious deck. I just think it's very good. And I'm wondering, I, I'm surprised it's not a higher portion of the metagame. And I'm actually grateful for that. But yeah, I can see adding three because I think it's one of the best answers to the deck. Um, But that's up to you. Otherwise, I, I do think the... the I, I mean, a pet card as it is, I think Lock Me Your Serpent's a good threat. Especially with Flash. And being able to exile their, their graveyard seems super relevant when they have things like escape cards and Croxa and whatnot. Um... One Ugin seems just fine. I, I like the extra lands. Maybe I mean you could you could you could probably cut the lands for other things if you yourself weren't having issues. But with me, I feel like we gotta go twenty seven. And that's what we have, right? We have twenty three actual lands and then four um dual face lands, which is fine. I think the deck is good, so um I love Maze Mind Tome. I could see putting a fourth, but like I don't I don't necessarily think you need it. And uh, everything else was good. Like we said we had uses for Thassa's Intervention, Extinction Event was good, Mystical Dispute. Even if you're not playing against blue, it's still a mana leak for three. So, yeah, I don't know. Super Fritz, as always, I appreciate your support, buddy. Thank you so much, man. And uh, hopefully hopefully you got some insights and uh, we got to, got to have some fun here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to support the channel and uh, send me decks to play and uh, have, have me critique them for you, definitely check out uh, frank at franklapore.com. You can send me an email there. And uh, also check out mandatraders.com. If you guys want to borrow cards on Magic Online, you can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. They are a sponsor of the stream and uh, it helps me out if you guys support them. Uh, you can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. There's a great deal going on that supports the channel. You get 68% off a two-year subscription to their awesome VPN and you also get one month free. So those are great ways to support the channel. Hopefully you guys... Uh, enjoyed this blue black deck and i think standards actually i think it's kind of healthy right now it's amazing when you take out all the shitty cards that are just utterly broken and not, not even close to healthy uh then you get to play standard again so thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time